All right, here's the second example of solving a rational equation. Um, so I have 1 over x squared plus 1 over x equals 2. Now before I demonstrate the technique to use to solve this, I just want to confirm with you that we cannot cross multiply. The reason we cannot cross multiply is because we have two terms on in this case, it's the left-hand side. So you can't cross multiply. You can only cross multiply if you have a fraction equal to a fraction. Once you get, um, let's just make up a new fraction here. Once you get two fractions on one side, then you can no longer cross multiply. So that technique doesn't work for this. All right, so the technique that I use for solving this is called clearing the fractions. And I first, I'm just going to rewrite this, um, leaving a little bit of space so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, And I'm going to put this 2 over 1. So look at my denominators. I've got a 1, I've got an x, and I've got an x squared. And I want you to think about way back when you added fractions about finding a common denominator. So it's kind of like that. A little bit different, but kind of like that. You are looking for the biggest or the largest. In this case, it's the x squared. Um, because um, what I want to do is multiply by the largest denominator, which clears all of the denominators. And you'll see how this works. But x squared is, if you will, larger than an x, which of course is larger than a 1. So we're going to multiply every term by x squared. So x squared gets multiplied by every term. And so now we're going to simply do this multiplication. So x squared times 1 divided by x squared is 1. And then x squared times 1, of course, is x squared divided by x. Well, that just leaves me with x. And then 2 times x squared divided by 1, of course, is 2x squared. And now I have a quadratic, and we're going to solve this quadratic. Um, I'm going to factor. You could just run it through your program. Or you could complete the square. Or you could um, graph it. Um, that would work. So let's get all our terms on one side. And this one factors nicely. It factors into 2x plus 1 and x minus 1. And again, you could have run that through your program. And then you set each factor equal to 0 and solve. And I'm running out of room here, so let me move up here. We've got a 2x plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1, divide by 2. So we get x equals negative 1 half. So there's one of our solutions. Let me just circle that so I don't lose that. And then let's continue on with our other solution. I had a x minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to each side. We get a x equals 1. And let me circle that so I don't lose it. So I've got two solutions here. And remember in the last video I told you it's very, very important to check to make sure um, that these both solutions work and that none of them are extraneous. So you could plug them in, of course. I'm going to demonstrate checking by graphing. So this is how you, how you check by graphing. So notice I've gone to my y equals, and in y sub 1 I'm going to type in the left-hand side of the equation, 1 divided by x squared plus 1 over x, and then y sub 2 is going to be the right-hand side of my equation. And then what I want to do is I want to check in my table for, let's see, what's a 1 and negative 1 half. So let's go first look at 1 to make sure that works. So I'm going to look at my table at 1. And when we go to table, at x equals 1, y sub 1, which is the left-hand side of the equation, and y sub 2, which is the right-hand side of the equation, both work. So that tells me that x equals 1 is a valid solution. And then the other one I was going to try is um, negative 1 half. So let's type in negative 1 half for 0.5. Let's go to table 
and let's see if that's the solution too. Sure enough, when x equals negative 1 half, both the left-hand side and the right-hand side match. So in this case, both of them are solutions.